In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and install the Digimodem that is required for a Lutron Athena startup. Inside of the box, you will find the Digimodem with the SIM card already installed, two antennas, a temporary battery pack, an 18 volt power supply, adapters for the power supply, a power over Ethernet PoE adapter, Ethernet cable, additional side components, hardware for a wall mounted installation, and hardware for a ceiling mounted installation. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Joe from Lutron Electronics. Today we're here to talk about an Athena lighting control system. Every Athena lighting control system requires an internet connection to enable certain features of the system. For example, app control of the system remotely. Today we're going to show you how to install the LTE modem that comes with your Athena system and will be used during the commissioning phase of the system to get the system up and running. Every system has at least one processor panel. It may be model QP5 or QP6. The Athena LTE modem will connect to this panel. Inside the panel, there's an, inside the QP5 version of the panel, you'll see an Ethernet switch. The QP6 panel won't have an Ethernet switch, so you can connect directly to the processor. If you have more than one panel on your site, it doesn't matter, matter which panel you connect to. You can connect, to, you connect your modem to any, any of the panels in the system. Your modem comes from Digi. It's shipped to you as part of a Lutron line item, but is manufactured by Digi Electronics. When you get your modem, the first thing you want to do is connect the two antennas that are packaged with the modem to the back of the modem. These are just going to screw in place, hand tight, you want to make sure they're secure. Your modem is basically like a cell phone. It's got a SIM card built inside and needs to get in a location where there's good service. So the first thing we're going to do is a site survey to determine where we can install the modem and have good service. To do this, the modem ships with a battery pack that allows you to walk around and perform the site survey. I'm going to connect my battery pack to the 18 volt connection in the bottom of the modem. Once your LTE LED starts flashing blue, the bars to the right of the LED will indicate the number of, indicate the signal strength. Currently, in this location, we have four bars, four or five bars, which is great. The minimum requirement for installation of the LTE modem is three bars. So, we're going to mount our modem permanently in this location. If there's a receptacle within a few feet of where the modem is being installed, you can simply connect the power directly to the modem. However, if there is no receptacle in the location where the modem is being installed, you can power the, the modem over the Ethernet cables. To do this, I'm going to first connect my Ethernet cable to one of the ports on the Ethernet switch. And then I'm going to use the supplied power injector. I'm going to connect my power supply to the power injector. I'm going to connect the Ethernet cable from the panel to the power injector. And I'm going to use a second Ethernet cable to connect the injector to the modem. I'm going to connect to port 1 on the modem. Always use port 1. Now I'm powering the modem over the Ethernet cable. Remember that the modem must be within uh, 100 meters or 300 feet of the panel since that is the maximum length of any Ethernet cable. You can use a Cat5 or Cat6 Ethernet cable to connect, or better, to connect the panel to the modem. Since I have a receptacle in range, I'm just going to connect my power supply directly to my modem and mount my modem. There are two ways to mount your modem. Your modem comes with a plastic clip that can be mounted directly to a, to a surface. Alternatively, there are clips that, come, that ship with the modem to allow you to mount it to a ceiling tile, um, the, the, the grid on the ceiling tile. They're both size clips for the two different size grids are available in the package.
Once your modem is permanently installed and connected to your panel, there's a label that comes with the modem that you can mount on the back of the panel cover that tells you all of the information about the modem. Once all of your processor panels are installed and connected via Ethernet, your modem's installed, and all of your Lutron lighting control devices are installed, you're now ready to call Lutron for system commissioning. If you have any questions, contact Lutron's technical support line at 1-800-523-9466, and one of our agents will help you through this process. Thank you for choosing Lutron, and have a great day.